we were moving the car out and uh as you can see steve uh leaned on the wing a little bit too much i can't believe you've done this Time for you to go, sir. Hey, how's it going, people? Uh, welcome back to another video. Me and Steve are at my house where the car is. As you can tell by the title of the video, we are finally replacing the hatch. I found a, I sourced the hatch locally. They had the glass, you know, intact and everything. Um, it's actually a pretty easy job. Um, let me just show you where the, it was off a uh, RSX base. It's, it's the same color as my rear bumper, so funny enough. It still has this. I wanted to delete that, but hopefully in a way that won't destroy the glass again. I want to remove these right here. Um, and it still has holes for a wing. Um, yeah, it, everything's intact. It still has the body panels and whatnot here that I need to remove eventually. Uh, tonight, we're just gonna install this and I'll, I'll worry about removing this and the body panels under it. Uh, later on, as you can see, Steve uh, leaned on the wing a little bit too much. It's always something with this hatch, huh? Glass, the wing. <laughs> Please let this be the end of it. I mean, funny enough, I'm gonna. I already plan on getting a an actual like performance-minded wing. Okay. So all you need for this job, really, remove these struts with a 12 mil. Um, wrench and then under this headrest or headliner is gonna be where the hinges for the for the hatch goes they are 12 mil bolts um, the hinges from the factory are also stuck on the body with some sort of glue or adhesive we had you need to like finagle out I think it's meant for like weatherproofing so that way the inside of the car doesn't leak water uh, I think any adhesive, like gasket maker or anything, will probably suffice. This is for the radio antenna. I don't know why I still have. Well, yeah, I got. It doesn't really matter that I have this. I got. I could just rip this out, to be honest. Um, and then the wiring harness is right there. It's hard to see because like a light. I uh, apologize um, that we're doing this so late. Hold this up for a second and yeah. see if I can fish this, uh, this There it is, folks. Headlamp. Yeah, headlamp, headlamp came in clutch, but it's uh, it's in. Oh, well, we gotta put in two more bolts. Tuck the but wire. yeah, and tuck the wiring harness through. But struts are on. Uh, we we confirmed that it lined up and closed correctly. So yeah, this is a uh, finally back to OEM glass. All right, so we're just gonna finish up the wiring, like plugging in the wiring, and then we're just gonna go hang out or something several days later so we're back it's a few days after we did the uh did the uh hatch so there's light out so i could show you hold on really quickly how we did this so to remove the hatch you have to get under the the uh, headliner uh the easiest way to do that is remove the top um panels the uh, plastic panels which this car doesn't have anymore so it's not too shabby uh it's Move that down, and then right here are the two nuts to this side, and then over here's the other side. Uh, they were uh, 12 millimeter uh, bolts, if I'm not mistaken. And all you gotta do is just like shimmy uh, this this hatch out because 
the surfaces of the hinge and the chassis are kind of stuck together from factory with this like glue stuff uh, and then you just need like a 12 for this uh, I mean I guess you could also remove it from here but we did it from here the wiring this connects from here this connects from here remove the ground from here uh, a couple clips and they go through the frame up here to the to the uh, uh, to the hatch that's for like the brake the third brake light the the, the hatch latch thing um, stuff like that and then other stuff like the windshield wipe or the wiper uh, the froster uh, this right here is for the radio antenna I'm not hooking that up because I don't as you can see I don't have a radio so that's that's not an issue but yeah it's, it's actually quite simple it's that's how you remove the hatch and then it's the opposite on uh, putting one on it took me and Steve like 10 minutes to do I will say uh, try to get a buddy to help you with this because I mean the hatch with the glass is pretty heavy for the rest of this video I'm just gonna remove the rest of this panel stuff uh, I'm gonna delete the the wiper again but this time I'm not gonna shatter the window because I'm not gonna be torquing down anything on it it's because crazy how this whole saga of the rear hatch kind of started with that so I'm gonna just do a, do a little DIY thing for plugging the hole once we remove the the washer or the wiper hoping but all this is done all that's removed Mitchell wiper deleted emblem deleted I'm gonna put some tape over these holes for now uh, kind of like what I did with these mounting holes for that uh, and then I'm gonna just do a janky ass ghetto do-it-yourself thing for that with <laughs> gorilla tape <laughs> uh, gorilla tape is I mean, I think it's, well, I'm going to try it. I'm just going to see if it's going to seal it. I'll see if I have a sticker somewhere to, like, kind of camouflage it a little. <laughs> uh, speaking of stickers, I need to get a razor blade and scrape these off. Oh, I've, one thing I forgot to show you all, since it was too dark. This is the wing off my old hatch. There's the old hatch. This is what happened. The mounting, the mounting screws ripped off. Yeah, so unfortunately, I mean, it, it, as long as you can see, I've left it unpainted, unpainted these all these a uh, couple years. But my plan was to paint it and sell it, but now I can't even do that. I'm just gonna hang it up in my garage whenever I get my own garage. That's whiter than rust spilling down your throat. The phantom exterior like fish eggs. The interior like suicide wrist red. I can exercise you. This could be your fizz ad. Cheat on your man one. That's how you get a his ad. Killer with the B. I know killers in the street. The still to make you feel like chinchilla in the heat. So don't try to run up on my head talking all that raspy shit. Trying to ask me shit. When my niggas figure this, they ain't gonna pass me shit. You should think about it. Take a second. Matter of fact, you should take 
All right, there it is. It probably would have blended in better without the sticker, but I figured, you know, fuck it. I had the sticker laying around for like the longest time, so might as well use it. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is go under the the hatch and just put a a, paste, a piece of tape or two under the hole, just in, just a you know just in case. All right, next I uh, found these razor blades. I don't know where my scraper is, but I found the blades for them. I'm gonna go ahead and start scraping these off. <laughs> Living the fast life with fast cars Everywhere we go, people know who we are A team from out of Queens with the American dream So we're fighting up a scheme to get the seventh thing of green Living the fast life with fast cars Everywhere we go, people know who we are A team from out of Queens with the American dream So we're fighting up a So the stickers are off, but you know, the residue from the adhesive still there. Some I'm gonna, I, have, I think I have some, some gooby gone or whatever it's called. I'll throw it on there to see if it'll work. Damn, damn. That goo gone stuff uh, actually worked. I was uh, not really expecting much. I just uh, put some on a rag, wiped down the areas that the sticker was on, and just let it sit for like 15 minutes or so. We had one of the razors. Started scraping it off and it was just coming off. And just now I just finished uh, getting some auto blast cleaner, cleaning off this area. It's kind of dried off now. And you can't even see where they were. Uh, at least, not that I can tell. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I might do that Goo Gone stuff on, on this stuff uh, later on. But all I really want to do is remove the headliner uh, and then the A-pillar plastics, uh, that's pretty much all. Oh yeah, and I want to remove, like, these, these, uh, water, whatever, proofing plastics or whatever they are. If I do delete the door cards, I'll have to do that too with those, uh, plastics. But right now, I just wanted to come over to my parents and do this to the hatch, so... That's done. I don't really feel like doing anything else, so I might come back tomorrow and do all this other stuff. So I'll see y'all tomorrow.